What's up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. In this vlog, you're going to see um, some footage of our Mother's Day um, breakfast and also our Mother's Day dinner we had on Sabbath. A big thanks to Margie and our um, youth committee for um, planning this all the events um, throughout the weekend. So may God continue to bless you guys as well. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. My name's Benny and like this video. Um, special shout out to everyone that's just subscribed. Thanks to um, you guys for building my channel. So just some updates for you guys. I've got the prizes. So these are the two prizes. I'm gonna send them off today. So spe special shout out to Tal Samuel and Lillian Ioane for winning these two special gift vouchers. And we'll do another giveaway when we reach 3,000. In this vlog, we're going to bake. I'm going to bake for you guys just a simple chocolate cake recipe. Um, so chocolate cake um, is, well, everyone knows what chocolate cake is. It's a family favorite. Um, back in the day, I used to do fundraisers, and this was one of the main requests that I got um, among banana cake and almond cake. But chocolate cake was the um, the most popular one. So in this vlog, I'm going to show you guys how to make chocolate cake. Um, special mentions to um, Yancy Yossi Victoria who um, tried out my potato salad recipe and it looked awesome so thanks guys it looked really good and um, also mentions to um, yeah all our polytubers out there um, and just um, yeah hope you guys enjoy this vlog thanks again for your support and let's begin So these are all the ingredients you need to make a chocolate cake. You need two cups of self-raising flour, two cups of raw sugar, three and a quarter cup of cocoa powder, three and a quarter cup of oil, two teaspoons of baking soda, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two cups of boiling water. Firstly, we're going to add our flour to a big bowl. So pour two cups of flour into a big bowl. Then we're going to add our raw sugar. Next, we're going to also add our cocoa powder as well as our baking soda. So I would have sifted through the baking soda and cocoa as well as the flour, but because the boiling water will um, mix everything together you don't need to sift through the ingredients so we're going to mix the dry ingredients together then we're going to add our canola oil so add your three quarters cup of canola oil to the mix and as well as your two eggs and these two elements will then combine your dry ingredients together and give the cake more form and shape so we're going to crack those eggs in together, mix it through, make sure you don't put any eggshells in it. <laughs> and then we're going to add our boiling water. So this will help mix everything together and help form our cake. So don't be alarmed if it's hot, it will cool down and eventually thicken in the process. Once you've done that, you're then going to add your vanilla essence and then mix that through and notice that it's starting to thicken. Next we're going to grab our baking paper and then cut a circle to form the base like so. And then we're going to also cut the baking paper a strip to cover the sides of the baking tin like so. just be careful when using the scissors and then we're going to grab a little bit of the cake mix 
just to attach the ends of the strip together and then you're going to pour the cake mix into the cake tin and then you put it into a preheated oven and allow it to bake for 50 minutes at 140 degrees or until the cake has baked right through in order to check to see if a cake is baked you just grab a knife prick the inside in the middle and the center if it comes out clean without no cake mix attached then you know it is ready then you're going to allow it to cool down overnight and then like so grab a piece of baking paper flip it over onto a plate and then you're ready for your icing which is basically cream two tablespoons of icing sugar and a tablespoon of cocoa and then you're going to spread that on top generously so I use generous amounts of cream in my cakes it's up to you how much you use so you're going to spread that icing cream icing or cream whatever you call it on top and then grate some chocolate and there you have it simple chocolate cake enjoy Here it is, it is the simple chocolate cake. So we're gonna um, cut this up and probably have it for dessert. Okay, if you hear background noise, grandma and grandpa just woke up. So this is the cake, very moist and dense. This is it. Tip if you are baking this, um, it's best to slow bake it. So you're baking it around 140 degrees for about over an hour and eventually it will make it nice and moist like this. You see that? Yeah, I know everyone on the diet, but man, if you're having fun with the diet. Mmm. Mmm. very moist. That's on my moist chocolate cake. Hope you guys have a good week. Thank you for subscribing. And we shall see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.
Mom. <laughs>